Not much, if any, in the way of accumulation. Look for a high today of 39 with a mostly cloudy skies. And again, the best chance south and southeast of Grand Rapids for seeing any of that mixed precip. Then as we head into tonight, any mixture changes basically over to all snow. This is midnight. You can see from Grand Rapids to the north, uh, a little, if any, snow occurring at all. But uh, south, uh, that snow pretty persistent. In fact, look at this area of heavier snow with a darker blue occurring right around 7 o'clock in the morning. Uh, for sections of uh, Calhoun, Kalamazoo, Southern Barry counties, all the way down to the Indiana state line, including uh, Branch, uh, Barry and Cass, and uh, St. Joseph counties, getting a pretty good clip of uh, snow for at least a couple of hours around sunrise tomorrow. Low temps tonight, mid to upper 20s, snow becoming likely, but mainly just to the south and east of Grand Rapids. Winds out of the northeast becoming northerly at 10 to 15. And there's that snow continuing southeast of Grand Rapids for a good part of the day tomorrow, but you can see by dinner time tomorrow, much of that snow is out of here. And then the lake effect starts to go. It doesn't look like a ton of lake effect, but still some nonetheless as we head into your Thursday. The latest European model indeed showing that uh, southeast uh, shift, and this model has been pretty good at tracking this, uh, this storm so far, uh, suggesting that uh, we could see as many still as five inches well to the south of GR, but take a look at from Grand Rapids to the north. It's just not showing much at all. So this, again, doesn't look like a major event. Uh, the area in white here, one to two inches. Northwest of Grand Rapids, uh, an inch or less is all we're expecting. Two to three inches in this narrow band here, including Hastings, Allegan, uh, Kalamazoo, Pawpaw, Benton Harbor. And then three to five inches in this uh, purple area here that includes Three Rivers, Cassopolis, Coldwater, and Battle Creek. Fox 17, seven-day planner. Once the snow moves out of here, the Arctic air moves in, and so does that lake effect. Windy and cold on Thursday. Actual high temps in the mid-20s, but wind chills stuck in the teens, maybe even single digits at times. Down to 15 on Thursday night, 24 Friday. The lake effect uh, continues, and then a few lake effect flurries on Saturday with highs near 30. And 34 on Sunday, not a bad day with uh, plenty of sunshine. Uh, 39 for Monday with another wintry mix possible.